Hi, this is Chris from Restart Homes LLC here in Bridgeport, Connecticut, home of iBuyCityHomes.com and BridgeportRehabDeals.com. Thanks for taking a look at this video. If we have provided you with value through this video, we ask that you return the favor and like our business page on Facebook. Please go to facebook.com forward slash Restart Homes. That's R E S T A R T H O M E S. And click the like button. Thanks. We appreciate it. Okay, uh, here we go with the alignment now. Um, one thing you would notice is that I don't have a lot of text. And not only do I, don't I have a lot of text, but my text is um, pretty much spaced out. I'm trying to use as much of the paper as possible. Uh, since we are writing this as handwriting, you don't really want to sit and be writing out, you know, 500 words um, sort of letters. Uh, I, I don't think that is what the yellow letter business is about. So you want to keep it very short. You want to have um, very small blocks of text, maybe not more than two or three lines in a paragraph because the longer those paragraphs are is the more the text is going to be um, out of whack and there's more adjustments you're going to have to make to bring it to line up with those um, lines on the yellow paper so you want to keep it um, very short and have some spaces as much as, as possible in between the paragraphs um, to allow you to make the adjustments um, easily there are four variables um, that you would be able to use or manipulate in order to get your adjustments going. The first of these adjustments would be if you go to Word under Home, your line spacing, line spacing options, you would see there is a spacing before, there's a spacing after. And there's also line spacing, which is the actual distance between those um, green lines or blue lines. And also um, your font size. So between those four variables, you should be able to bring much of your text into alignment. Let's see, for this um, first paragraph, I could probably go to line spacing, line spacing options, and shift the first um, line down, let's say six, 12 points. Okay, that's obviously not gonna do it. Try 24. Okay, so 24 point gets it a little bit too low. We can change that. Okay, so 20 definitely gets it on the line. However, the third line now is is off and this is one of the things you would probably notice with um, when you have paragraphs that have an automatic break as we have here that's an automatic break um, or, or, or a word wrap automatic word wrap is these two lines tend to operate very much close together one way you could try to um, work with them together is to go to line spacing, line spacing options, and actually change the from a single line space of one to let's try 0 0.8. Okay, so that seems to work except I am getting my 
the bottom of my Y is clipped. You could see right here the Ys have been clipped at the bottom. So let me go again. Make this point nine. Okay, so that's a lot better in terms of um, it doesn't have to perfectly touch the line because in, in normal handwriting we never really stay exactly on the line but this is pretty decent um, in terms of getting these two lines together the street address lines up well the town I would like it to be in here um, just under the street and it's not so I would want to again have those two to operate together uh, and I may have to do the same thing let's see do line spacing I want to take off this 10 point always start at zero see that makes a difference okay that's pretty close and let's see one more let's make this also 0 0.9 okay that looks fine uh, except this is a little bit high here let me check it push this down a little um, hopefully it doesn't go too much out of whack. Six points. No. How about twelve? Okay, that's a lot better. The contact line is lined up, the thanks is not lined up, but because I have a lot of space in here, I have actually a complete line in between. I can just go to font size and from 16, I could see from 18 to go to 16, 14 is fine, it lines up and likewise because I have enough space here I could simply just adjust um, the front of that blank line to 14 and as you can see now I have this is lined up this is lined up this seems pretty good this seems pretty good this is pretty good uh, so there you have it um, let's see how this might look in a print preview. Okay, yeah, that seems pretty good. All right, so the, the final step would be to change the seller information, the street, the town, um, those you would actually bring in your your merge um, information if you're working with a, a mailing list or some sort of a database. Um, those are just placeholders, they're not exactly words um, placeholders but you know it's just to give you that um, information right now that those, those um, words would be replaced by actual data from either an, an Excel spreadsheet or um, uh, a database.